Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. I'm just making my way over to IT Park here in Cebu, Philippines, where I'm meeting up with a group of guys who I made friends with yesterday when I was meeting Los Lebrunk. And we are going to go head over to the top of Cebu, which is a viewpoint where I'm guessing you can see most of Cebu. So I'm just going to find myself a jeepney now, 04C, and it's 7 pesos and about 20 minutes ride before I get to IT Park, where I will be getting a van, I'm told. No style jeepney. It's uh, essentially just a bus, the way they do it here. Seven pesos per fare, and I'm heading to IT Park where I'm going to meet some friends. Hopefully, if the traffic holds out, it won't take too long, but Cebu is notorious for its bad traffic. So I'm here with Steve, who I met yesterday, and it turns out I'm actually gate crashing his work's Christmas party tonight. So we're going to go visit the top of Cebu, which is a landmark here, before heading to a fancy karaoke place. Turns out everyone else is going to be wearing shirts and jeans whilst I'm going to be wearing shorts, flip-flops, t-shirt and a hat. So I'm going to be somewhat underdressed, but that is the story of my absolute life. Never mind. The van that is taking us is running on Filipino time, so I've decided to get myself some potato corner chips, which are flavoured with sour cream and dust. So it should be good. We are now in the van waiting to go with Steven and his entire team from work. <laughs> We have arrived at the top of Cebu, which is the name of a really, really fancy restaurant right on the top of Cebu. We've been driving up a mountain for a really long time. One of those ones that are so steep that you have to turn the aircon off in order for the engine to work. And it is super beautiful view overlooking. We got the whole team spread out across the restaurant in various different locations taking all he sorts of eat. photos. <laughs> because there's plenty of different uh, nice spots here to have what a photo. What you get for dinner? I had plain rice. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure <laughs> I'm pretty sure my viewers are tired of hearing about how hard it is to be vegetarian is that in the Philippines. Yeah, it is. Can yeah. I say hi? Yeah, say hi to I the vlog. I want to be included in the vlog. <laughs> What's your channel? My channel is a travel vlog right now. Okay. Are you so going to subscribe? I will. I'll <laughs> check it out later. Steven, who does not want to be in the vlog, just told me after dropping a fork that if you drop a fork, it means that a male visitor is going to come into your life. And if you drop a spoon, it means a female visitor is going to come into your life. It's a Filipino thing, apparently. An old wives tale, maybe. We are now at a karaoke place. This is probably my 12th time doing karaoke in the Philippines. It's absolutely everywhere. And naturally, being the attention seeker I am, I love it. You just missed a fantastic rendition of Born This Way. Sang. I sang Born This Way. I sang Born This Way. But I didn't catch it on camera, luckily for you guys, because you don't want to hear that cat screeching. But it's a really nice place we're in. Apple Tequila shot. stamina when it comes to karaoke. My voice is tired, my head is tired, my life is tired, but I'm gonna push through for the sake of the performance.
Just got back to my hostel after a fun night doing karaoke. Those Filipinos really are wild and there is no stopping them. If you did like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Follow my social media down below and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.